Hey Tribe, Nick here. And in this video, I'm gonna introduce your first beam progression project for the Foot Nerd program, and that's single leg balance. So we found in using the beam for a while now that the beam can be a really powerful mental training tool to improve your focus and train your ability to focus, um, sort of to counteract the distraction training we do most of the day, right? With buzzes, alerts, text messages, emails. We do a lot to essentially train our brain to really be good at being distracted, but we don't do a whole lot to train it to be focused. And being able to focus is sort of this prerequisite skill that we all need in order to do things like build a meditation practice, read a book, uh, listen deeply in a conversation. So the beam projects are a physical practice element uh, that adds another dimension to, to a program, right? To a learning program, because learning to move and learning how your brain and your body works is a very powerful element uh, we feel to a program. So in this first one, um, we are going to work on getting to the point where you can balance for 60 seconds with your eyes open uh, without looking down. So pretty straightforward. Uh, you're gonna jump on your beam. Okay, when you're there, look straight, lift your foot up, start a timer, and go for 60 seconds. So I'll do that right now and I'll kind of talk as we're doing it um, to show you that I can actually do it because I think if you're gonna be the example and expect other people to do things, you need to be able to do it. Now. The beam is a mental training tool to build focus, but it's also a physical training tool to reintegrate your feet and your hips, which I think a lot of people's feet have gotten away from being able to be good quality sensors to relay information about the ground. And a lot of people's hips have lost the communication pathway to their feet um, because we just don't use their hips very much, right? We spend a lot of time sitting in chairs. So you can use these projects um, as sort of things that you're working towards throughout the program. You don't have to do them all at once. It's kind of, you know, do it whenever you feel you need a movement outlet. Uh, I think it's pretty powerful to have a daily movement practice on the beam, even if it's just one minute on the beam. Um, doing it every day consistently is much more powerful to kind of get comfortable at these progressions than it is doing, you know, one, one session once a week. Okay, so I got about three seconds left. Perfect, if you wanna be real adventurous, you can switch without coming off the beam. Um, but literally it's just balance for 60 seconds without looking down, make sure you're breathing. The more relaxed and fluid you are, the easier this is gonna be. It's gonna be hard when you first start out and that's okay. Um, but neurologically your brain gets really good really quick at understanding what muscles to fire and your ability to focus is actually one of the biggest limiting elements. So as you work on this, and you train your ability to focus and be present, it gets a lot easier. Okay, and then the journey that you go through to develop the ability to do this is actually the most powerful learning that you're gonna get in order to teach this to other people or to communicate this and tell your story to other people so that they can be inspired um, to follow the same path. Now, TFC beams are great, but you can also let people know that a piece of wood, a piece of lumber, a piece of tape on the ground, any of these things can serve as a beam. Okay, so that's a minute on each side and that's project number one.